In just about 30 minutes, getting through Denver International Airport could get a lot easier. First phase of the Great Halls project is complete. I'm Dominic Garcia bringing you CBS 4 News at noon live on CBS 4 and CBSN Denver. CBS 4, Shauna Kalafi has spent her morning at TIA. Shauna, probably going to be a big relief for travelers. Yeah, Dom, well, that's the goal. So this is the completion of phase one in the project. These are the new ticket counters for United. Southwest looks just like this, but on the east side of the terminal. And here's something pretty cool. They've also added these kiosks where you can drop off your own bags. And they're hoping this will make the check-in process more efficient and provide more capacity for years to come. So Denver is the third busiest airport in the country and one of the top 10 busiest in the entire world. So CEO Phil Washington says they had no choice but to renovate this space to accommodate the increase in passengers here. So Southwest will move into the east side of level six on November 4th and United will move into the west side on November 10th. The airport says phase one construction was finished on time and millions under budget and phase two broke ground in July. Phase two of the Great Hall project, uh, which will move security on the north end from level five to level six, we have already started that phase two, uh, and we will complete that in the next 15, 18 months. The ribbon cutting ceremony will be happening here at 1230. Mayor Hancock, as well as representatives from both Southwest and United Airlines will be here to celebrate the unveiling of this new space. And we'll have more from that ceremony tonight at five. In Denver, Shauna Kalafi covering Colorado First. Shana